Now me, I will be forever reluctant to ever pick up the phone and, and, and dial the police again. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV news. Hello, I'm LRJ and welcome to LRJ TV. Have you ever thought about calling 911 before and wondering if I call the police, what would happen? Will they come to my rescue because they're forced to protect and serve? Well, in case you have not noticed that most police cars now don't even say protect and serve. Let's go. Eric talked to the man who says that he spent two days in jail for what he thought was exactly the right thing. Well, Justin, the house is right down the street from where I'm standing right now, but we had to move up the street to establish a live signal. I did have the opportunity, though, to personally walk through the home and see the secret compartment where the homeowner found what he later determined was meth. I feel that we were violated because we put our trust in you to protect us, and you turned it against us. Michael Kelly is still steaming. He says this all started in early October when authorities arrested three men who were living in his rental property in Rex. Kelly says investigators found meth inside the car two of the men were in. Then he says a team of officers combed the house looking for evidence before turning it back over to Kelly. He, his wife, and their nine-year-old son came to the home Sunday to clean it up and get it ready for new tenants. I must say that that guy look a lot like a drug dealer and his son most definitely is pushing some type of bad sort of something at school. Because I'm a cop and that's how I think because I'm crazy because if you're this color or this color, hell, if you're not a cop, you're dirty. And when we came in the house, the door was open, window was shattered. Then he noticed what was in the bathroom. This was what I saw. The, the mirror was here and this wall, I mean, that space was taken out, and there were drugs behind this wall. Kelly says he pulled out eight bags, laid them down, and then called authorities. What happened next still has him baffled. Authorities interrogated him and his wife before arresting them, charging them with tampering with evidence. They were in the Clayton County Jail for about two days before they were able to post $5,000 bond for each of them. Now, me, I will be forever reluctant to ever pick up the phone and, and, and dial the police again. <laughs> It's funny the guy would not call 911 anymore. And we wonder why the crime in the black area is just so high. Why murders are not being solved. Well, uh, you just seen why. So, yeah. I'm LRJ. Rate, comment, and subscribe because you, like you did. I love you all. Peace.